Yo, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Mr. Smitty. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be showing you how to do some more Google SketchUp for schools today. All right, so we we have been progressing towards building our own chess set and we have done the pawn and we have done the king. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you take care of doing the rook step by step. I'm going to review some of the old tools and introduce you to some of the new ones. All right, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and pull up your Google SketchUp for schools. All right, I've got mine pulled up and I can see my file directory here. And basically you just need to look for the file we've been working in. So mine is called pond-chesspiece. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and get that loaded. All right, so I'll give you a second. All right, so you can see here that I've already been working on my Rook, but I'm going to go ahead and actually delete that. And we're going to start fresh with a little review. All right, so I had you create all these bases, so I wanted to quickly review how to copy one of them. Let's say you accidentally deleted one, like I just purposely did. Um, if you click on the base and go over here to the Move tool, and then on our keyboard, remember down here we have modifiers. So on our keyboard, I'm going to tap control to toggle to copy. And then I'm going to move it over because I just made myself a copy. All right, so we're going to continue on. We've done the pawn. We've done the king. Now I'm going to do the rook. And later on we'll do the queen, the bishop, and the knight. So to do the rook, the first thing you need is to double click on your base. And you'll see this little dotted box, which lets you know that you're actually editing this object. So now that I am in the edit mode, all right, I'm going to grab my pencil tool and I'm going to find the center because we need to go ahead and set our height. So I'm using inferencing here to find the center. All right, I'm just kind of finding the inferred center by moving my pencil around. All right. So now we got to decide on a height. Um, so the rook should be not taller than the king, but taller than the pawn. So I'm going to say about right there is good. All right. I think that's going to be a very good height for our rook. So what we need to do now is we actually should uh, create a reference plane or a reference panel to draw on. So I'm going to do that by extending a line from the center on the bottom, extending a line up, and then closing it off. So this is going to be where we actually draw the design for our rook. All right, if you've ever played chess, you know the rook looks like the little corner castle piece. So uh, I'm going to start by giving it, you know, maybe a little more pronounced than that. Let's see. So maybe from there to there. Then I'm going to go down here and come in to about right there. And then I'm going to connect it in the corner. All right, I think that I think that's a good looking start for our rook. All right, quick shortcut key. I'm going to take my finger and click the E on my keyboard. And it changes me to the eraser. All right, now that I've got that, I'll go ahead and delete these edges. And I've got my initial design for my rook. So at this point, we're going to go and use the follow me tool. So I need to create, click my select tool to select the geometry for the follow me tool. To do that, I am going to double click this. So it highlights the ring and this bottom surface. And I'm going to do what's called a subtract click. So if I look at the bottom here, if I do shift, it lets me add or subtract. If I do control, it's add, and if I do shift control, it's subtract. I only want this ring, so I'm going to hold control and shift and click this surface, so that way it subtracts it from my click. All right, again, I'll show that one more time. All right, I'm going to double click, and that'll highlight both, and then hold control and shift and click the surface so I only have that outer ring. I'm now going to cl click on the follow me tool. I'm going to go and re-select that again. So I just did the same thing. I'm going to click the follow me tool and click 
and it's going to give us this nice beginning shape for our rook. So our next step is to actually cut out the pieces on the top to make it look like a little castle. So I'm going to take the line tool and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw a line. You can see that our circles aren't perfect. They actually have these little notches for us. And I did a little math ahead of time. And if you skip every other point, it comes out to an even amount of notches. So I'm just going to skip a skip a notch or skip a point, skip a point, draw a line, skip a point, draw a line. Sounds like a um, new music video. Skip a, skip a point, draw a line. No, all right, I'm joking. All right, so skipping points, drawing lines. So now I have all my notches ready for me to actually push pull down into the rook. You might be asking yourself, there's got to be a quicker way than drawing all those lines. There is. It's using the rotate tool to create an array, but we're going to do that later. We're still learning. Don't want to overcomplicate our model. All right, so at this point, I'm going to grab my push pull tool and I'm going to pull down. So uh, I want to I wanna kind of see, I'm going to control Z that. I want to see how far I want to go down. I guess that's looking pretty good. I want to leave a little wall right there. Um, you know, if this was an actual castle, a little guy would be able to see through that. So we have two ways of making all of these match. I can either click and hover over the distance that I went down on that first one, or SketchUp remembers that measurement and I just double click them all and then they put them all to the same size. All right, so definitely a lot quicker just to double click them. So at this point, I'm going to click save. Need to make sure I get a quick save off. And I think I mean, really my my rook's looking good. I don't I don't know what else I could do. But I kind of want to add something a little extra. Um, so I did want to show y'all um, something else you can do with this move tool. The move tool can be used for a lot of different things. So if you go here, I basically want to, I had to double click, double click to re-edit, but I want to, I want to highlight this ring, but the issue is when I did all that modeling, it broke apart. So I could hold shift and click all the way around until I have the whole ring highlighted, but show you a quick shortcut again. Remember how I showed you, you can double click and anything that is touching. So I double click this surface and it gave me that ring and that ring and that surface because they touch each other. If I do a subtract click now, so control and shift and I subtract click, subtract double click this one, it deselected this outer ring. So let me show that again, all right? I double click here, selects all of that. I control shift, double click up here, gets rid of that outer ring. Now I just control shift here, gets rid of that, and I have that whole ring selected. All right, just a real quick way to select things that are broken apart. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to use this move tool to basically add a little flare, a little style. Um, it's almost like a chamfer or a fillet. So I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm just going to grab and pull down. All right, don't look right. Don't look right at all. And that's because I have to press up. Um, actually, let me control Z. There we go. I have to press the up arrow before I do this. So I'm pulling down. And then I press the up arrow and it does like a connection for me. So I'll show that again. All right, I'm going to control Z. I click and I'm pulling down. I press the up arrow and it links them. So now I can kind of decide how I want that to look. And I don't know about y'all, but that looks clean. All right, that is a clean looking rook right there. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty happy with my model. Um, I'm going to wait to do appearance on all these until we're done um, so I can decide on kind of a theme and color all of them. Um, so that's it for making the rook. 
I will be back with another video probably next week when we start our new lessons. Um, I'm going to start with the queen. All right. If you guys could do me a favor, don't forget to subscribe for me while you're here, and I will see you next time.